Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we will see how to deploy metric server in your Kubernetes cluster using Helm. Um, I've done a couple of videos where I've shown you how to install metric server, but that's uh, not specifically for metric server, but uh, videos like horizontal pod auto scaling. I think in vertical pod auto scaling, I'm not sure, uh, but in horizontal pod auto scaling video that I did a few months ago, uh, one of the requirement was to install metric server. So uh, the way we install metric server was like uh, cloning a GitHub repository for metric server and then using kubectl to um, apply those manifests, right? But this time I'm going to be using Helm version 3 and install metric server easily uh, using Helm. So I've got complaints from few users that metric server is not running. So even if they install deploy metric server, it's not showing any uh, resource utilization. Like if you do kubectl top nodes, it should give you some details about CPU utilization and memory utilization. So they were complaining that um, after deploying metric server, still uh, they can't see any metrics from their nodes or from their pods. So this is kind of a refreshing uh, video that I want to do it um, again, but this time using Helm version 3. Okay, so the cluster I've got here is kubectl version minus minus short. So, okay, we are on version 1.17.0, which got released yesterday, I think, or maybe last week. And if you're using my Vagrant environment as of uh, today, which is December 10th, 2019, you should be getting version 1.17.0 uh, Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so that's my Kubernetes version. Helm version, I'm on version 3.0.0. There are slight differences uh, when it comes to certain commands if you're using Helm 2 or Helm 3, but uh, most probably they will be uh, similar, but there are slight changes. If you can't get it working, if you're following this video, but if you want to use Helm 2, just let me know in the comments if uh, something is not working right for you. I can show you the actual commands uh, if you're using, if you happen to use Helm version 2. Okay, so Helm repo list. So Helm version 3, I've got a stable uh, repo, Kubernetes charts repository. That's a stable one. So we can have, uh, we can install metric server from the stable repository. So let's search for the metric server. So before searching, what I'm expecting is kubectl top notes. So that should list CPU memory utilization of the nodes. And if I do kubectl top pods, it will show the CPU and memory utilization metrics for all the pods running on a particular namespace. So at the moment, I'm, I haven't installed metric server, so you can't see any uh, metrics information, but that's what we are going to do. Helm search repo metrics server. Yep, there is metric server in the stable repository. If you're using Helm, version 2 you don't have to use this repo command you can just do helm search metric server helm search metric server which won't work in helm version 3 so in helm version 3 you have to pause helm search repo and whatever you want to search like for example nginx okay so we've got a metric server i'm going to download the values file and then update the values file before installing the metric server so if you are using uh, Helm version 2, the command to download is helm inspect values stable metrics server and pipe that to temp metrics server dot values if you are using Helm version 2. If you are using Helm version 3, you can just change inspect to show helm show values and redirect that to a temporary file which we will be editing in a second all right so edit that file temp metric server dot values in here there are few changes the first one is host network it's disabled and i'm going to enable that okay so i came to know about this after a very long time i've been deploying metric server and i was wondering why it's not showing up and if you don't enable this host network, uh, and if you look at the logs of the metric server pod, you will find errors like no such host uh, or can't find host with host name. So there was a problem with the host name lookup until you uh, enable the host network. So that's very important. 
host network should be enabled and then I'm going to add this option minus minus kubelet insecure TLS those are the only two changes that I'm doing in this values file save that so now I'm good to install the metric server okay I usually install metric server um, in a separate namespace so that it doesn't combine with my usual apps so I'm gonna create a namespace if you're using helm version 2 I'm gonna give you the command here helm install uh, give it a name minus minus name metrics server stable metrics server minus minus namespace if you want to deploy this metric server in a particular namespace called operations and then pass the minus minus values file which is temp metric server dot value so that would be the command if you're using helm version 2 okay the changes to helm version 3 is that there, there is no minus minus name option so you can just ignore minus minus name helm install that's it uh, metric server will be the sorry metric so yeah metric server will be the name of the release that you are deploying and the chart you're going to deploy is table slash metric server and rest of the values options are fine but you need to note one thing we are going to deploy metric server in a namespace called operations if you were to do this in helm version 2 it would automatically create the namespace operations for you if it doesn't exist but helm version 3 uh, it will error out saying the namespace operations is not found or does not exist so you have to create the namespace manually before running this command all right so let's run the command to create the namespace kubectl create namespace operations feel free to install metric server in whatever namespace you want okay kubectl get namespace we have the operations namespace now we are good to install this helm install name of the release name of the chart and where you're going to install and the values file all right so install that and now if i do helm list it doesn't show you anything if you are using helm version 2 it will list uh, from all the namespaces but in helm version 3 uh, depending on which namespace you are in uh, only if the chart is installed on that particular namespace it will show you in the helm list output so helm list do minus minus all namespaces because we've installed the metric server in the operations namespace all right so now you can see the uh, deployment metric server kubectl minus n operations get all all right so that's running and let's take a quick look at the logs for the metric server kubectl minus n operations logs minus f metric server Cool, there were no error, generated self-signed certificates, serving securely on 8443, so that's all perfect. And if you didn't enable the host network option in the uh, values file, you would see lots of errors in this uh, log, metric server log, okay. So now I can do kubectl top nodes, and now you can see the CPU utilization. So it's using like 177 millicore, 70 millicore, 75 millicore. It's using like 8% of my uh, CPU, 7%, 7% memory. So Kmaster is using 67%, 56%, and 58% of the system memory available. And if I do a kubectl minus n cube system top parts, Cool. So that's the uh, statistics, the metrics utilization for the individual parts running on a particular namespace. The number of CPU cores uh, it's using, the number of uh, the amount of memory it's using. Cool. So that's metric server. I just wanted to share you, share with you the easiest way to install the metric server using Helm, either version with version two or version three. Alright, so I hope you found this useful. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Kubernetes Learn Kubernetes is an ongoing series and you will find videos uploaded every Monday of every week. Uh, that's for sure. And if I've got more videos, I will update, uh, I'll upload the videos in between uh, in the middle of the week 
and so on. All right, thanks for your time watching this video. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help you in the YouTube comment section. And I will all see you, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.